breaking news. The world has come to an end as aliens eradicate the human race from the face of the earth. With unyielding force they're overwhelming our defenses, leaving us no hope for survival. This tragic end serves as a grim reminder of the consequences of our destructive nature. Farewell, humanity. May we be remembered for the lessons we failed to learn. And in other news, a dog faked his death. What's up with that? A report just came in about the dog who is faked. Did you hear? The world is about to end. Yeah? When is it not about to end? It seems to be real this time. They said it on the news. Oh, sorry, let me rephrase that. When does the news not tell us when it's about to end? How can you be so calm? And why are you still playing? They just announced that we've been taken over by an intergalactic alien species. Now, even if that is true, there's nothing we can do about it now. Might as well get in some last games, you know what I mean? Look at this, by the way. I just got the Ultimate Champion League. Oh, really? Show me what deck you played. Sure. We are back guys and we're finally in Ultimate Champion League and I haven't really been there earlier because I haven't really been pushing on Path of Legends but let's see how it's going to do now. I This is my absolute favorite deck right now, my go-to deck if you will and it's this uh, Royal Giant deck as you have seen many times before Mladder. I'm prob you're probably tired of it but uh, anyways let's see what we can make happen. This is the deck I have highest level on. I'm gonna go with my Royal Giant right now just to apply some pressure and see what our opponent is going to use here. So uh, I think I'm like top 30 or something in Sweden like locally um, so that's pretty cool as well. It's been really fun for me playing lately I don't know why but it doesn't even matter how hard I try. Keep that in mind from the side to side to remind myself how I got this far. Uh, so this is not like the perfect start because my friend here is going to do some tremendous amount of damage onto my target of targets of practice. So we're gonna lose the first battle. We're probably gonna lose the first battle here but it's not over until it's very over. I'm gonna go aggressively with my uh, royal dude again. He might, he might go with this Valkyrie and that's what I would have done but the Valkyrie is not gonna stop my royal giant so we're gonna take back a lot of damage to the tower of the tower of the tower so we're gonna we're gonna ignore this side now i'm gonna go with the fisherman um so we're gonna definitely just let this side be it's not over with royal giant decks because of the evolved version and it's getting a nerf very soon so we'll see how that's gonna make do it's gonna say wow i don't know if that's a good wow but it is at least something let's see let's see what it's gonna do i'm gonna go with the phionix again uh we know he has the executioner so i'm going to just go with my ghost here and uh I might go opposite lane, I might go opposite lane because of the fact that my my phoenix is still up and running for making an enormous amount of pressure on the opposite lane. Okay, well played, well played, but we have the royal uh, royal uh, retri ret retribution on the opposite lane again. Uh, I'm gonna just use my gobs, I'm gonna go ahead and use my phoenix, I'm gonna use my fisherman, so we're back to our track, we're back to our tracker packer, we're back to our tracker packer, come on, come on, come on, man! Come on, man, don't take my tower, don't take my tower. He just used the tornado, so that's a good thing. I'm gonna keep the pressure up here. We're gonna definitely take the tower here. On, oh, he's gonna use the rocket. I don't know if that's a good thing to do, man. I don't know if it's a good thing to do. Let's just do this again and go back to our second royal giant the moment the moment is right. So, yeah, I think this is the moment. I think this is the moment. Uh, I'm gonna also use my tornado. Uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna win this, guys. We're gonna win this. Oh, unfortunately for him, we turned this around with our strong royal giant. And he's gonna say, good game. And that's the first battle. Wow, I, I love this deck. What can I say? You should give it a try. I switched out the the, uh, the log for the um, Barbarian Barrel and it's working wonders for me. So let's jump into the next one. Never call out your games too early guys. That's what I've always said but I can't remember all the things I said. Now let's see what we can make happen here against Vemixen. Vemixen. I like to start with a Royal Ghost but uh, that's not always a possibility for you. So you can all either wait or just start with the Ghost because um, yeah it's, it's a pretty okay passive threat coming down the lane of the drain of the Seine. Okay so what I do later I'm gonna go with my phoenix. That's what I do later, but not starting off with this. Okay, so zappies. What are we gonna do against them zappies? Are we gonna... Oh, we're gonna definitely go here, guys. We're gonna definitely go. I'm gonna go with the fisherman on this side. Uh, I don't know if that was good. That was probably bad. We can't do anything because we don't have the log. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. We did retarget. That's a good thing. So, we're gonna get some damage here. We're also gonna kill the uh, Electro Flying uh, Super Dragon. And um, that's also a good thing. But what, what I do not like is the fact that he's gonna use his ability. But I do have my... Oh, I do have my goblins here. I do have my goblins. 
He's gonna use his ability, and that's gonna be a bad ability. Oh yes, he didn't use it, that's a really good Chopper Mopper. So what we're gonna do is just keep going with our Evolved Royal Giant and see if we can make the counter push happen. Okay, Bowler, I, I guess that, that's a good answer, but it's not gonna take care of my Royal Giant, it's not a point on damage dealer. So we're gonna take the tower almost down to almost Ness. And um, that's always a good thing, because we can make the uh, flying dude here help out. He might use his Inferno Dragon if he's smart, but that's not always a good thing. I don't know what that was, man. I do not know what that was. It seems like this is gonna be a victory, but we can never be too sure, because graveyards, they are they are what they are. And, uh, oh, he's gonna go with another fella. Oh, he's gonna go with another fella. Let's just go here with Fisher Boy instead then. And um, I don't know, we could, we, could, we, could, we could probably go here with Ghost. We could probably go here with Ghost. We'll go, go, Ghost. We'll see here. I'm gonna definitely fireball the Inferno Dragon that is gonna come down here. I'm gonna do it now. Bam! There we go. Let's see if he logs. He doesn't, so I'm gonna re retarget the stressness of the pest test. And that's a good thing. I'm gonna go with the Phionix. Uh, he might go with the graveyard at this point, but I don't think that's good graveyard. I do not think so. So we're gonna take a chill again and just go in the back with the track of the pack. I'm gonna go with Royal Giant, actually, actually, because of the fact that he is gonna use his alternations. He's gonna, this is a great fireball, isn't it? Ah, it's not, it's not. I'm gonna not, not use my fireball at this point. Uh, we took the tower, I'm gonna use the fireball now, uh, because we ha can have to. And uh, we're gonna do this, we're gonna go here with the graveyard boys, with the graveyard boy. He's gonna use the arrows, that's fine, that's fine. I'm gonna use my thing here, and I think that's gonna be game, guys. Yeah, there's no way in time in hell that he's gonna make anything happen here. So that's gonna be a second victory force. Let's jump into the third one. I love this deck, did you tell you that? I did tell you that. So putting in the barb barrel seems to be the absolute best choice for me here. Uh, like like a good choice, because I had a log before. Log is better, like, yeah. it can take like tombstones and stuff at their tower, but rarely, rarely do you need it, actually. It's better to have it like uh, distracting inferno towers and stuff like that, and also killing their supportive troops. I'm gonna go now, I'm gonna be ready for a fireball here, because it's gonna probably have a tower. Let's just see what it is. I'm actually gonna fireball that because because it's a good thing to do. Let's see what you're gonna do. Okay, I could have. Yeah, okay. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stress it here. He's just overextending with his uh, elixir. So I'm gonna go with gobs, with gobs here, and I'm also gonna go here with a royal ghost, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and use uh, the Fisher Boy again, guys, again, because we can take care of the Hog Rider. We're still in the lead, but just slightly. But we have the ghost on the tower, and that's a good thing. I'm gonna go with my Electro Spirit pretty early just to take care of the bats and bats. So he's gonna have to respond to the Fisher Boy as well. He's gonna do that, guys. So looking pretty good so far. It seems like a Hog Cycle deck. Uh, did he have a champion? I forgot. I don't know if he had. But uh, what I'm gonna do now is go with my Royal Giant in back because he's not back to his. Um, Hog Rider, that's why I'm using him in the back, so I can just load it up. And he also used the cannon just right now, so uh, he doesn't have anything to distract my Royal Giant with, really. So let's see if he's gonna give up, or if he's gonna give up or something. Let's just go with a Fionix. Actually, let's go Fionix here. Uh, let's go also here, and I'm gonna go with the Ghost. He's not back to... Yeah, that's good, that's really good. We're gonna take the tower here, we're gonna take the tower, guys. And I'm also gonna go here with a brand new... Uh, electro fl uh, flicker, Erect electro flickers, they are really good. Look at the ghost, look at the ghost, go! I'm gonna go again, he's gonna have to go. I don't know, he's just stressing it, and I don't know if it's a good thing, but we're gonna retarget that tower to our royal giant by putting down the royal giant in the past of the Furious. Let's just go here and go with a, some goblins. We are ready with the fisherman for his fisher boy. So it seems like it's not gonna do anything about it. So I'm gonna go with a fisherman, with a fisherman, and he's gonna stand the stand a chance. I'm gonna go with a royal ghost, and this looks like a win. This looks like a win. Let's just go here. He's gonna probably use the uh, the log here. He's probably gonna use the log. I'm gonna definitely fireball that because we can. Uh, and, and he just used the log, so I'm gonna go here, guys. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go with that other fisherman. It's 25 seconds left and there's nothing he can do. Wow, we, we are winning so many so far. I didn't know it was gonna be this easy in Path of Legends. Oh my god, guys. Let's do like one last battle and wrap this one up. Let's see where we're at in the, um, in the ranking system, like locally. Yeah. Oh, we're 33 locally in Sweden. Perfect. Three is my favorite number and two threes is even better. So let's jump into the last battle. Last battle for today. Let's see what we're up against here against the Yusht. What kind of name is that? What kind of name is that, sir? Let's just go with the Barbie Barrel. It's always a good starting move as well. Let's just go with our, you know, since he just used Log, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do this. Oh, we're up against a matchup that is pretty much looking like our own. 
Bam! Oh, are we gonna kill that hunter? We are not gonna kill that hunter. That's so unfortunate, guys. That's so unfortunate. So this is the this, this is the spot. This is the spot, guys. All right. So I'm gonna go with a phoenix here as well. And um, yeah, I think that's gonna be quite enough. We are gonna save up for the next uh, iteration of uh, uh, awesomeness. Oh, he's gonna get that last hit. I'm, I'm I'm so sorry about that. I'm so sorry about that. Let's just see what we can make happen here. It doesn't matter if the, if the phoenix goes in front at, at times because um, I'm gonna actually fireball. No, no. Nah, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna be that stressful. I'm just gonna take the log value here that we can get. I'm gonna do the log value. The log value. Are we gonna get it? Bam! Almost. Just one of them. We, we, we missed one of them. But that's fine. Now we're in the lead, but we just have to be ready for his royal giant. And he knows what's up. He knows what's gonna come. I'm gonna go with the royal ghost. We don't wanna, we don't wanna specs it too much. Uh, we just wanna go with the phoenix after this and mm, cycle back to our royal giant. Let's see, if, let's see if we can make it happen anytime soon. Oh! He's gonna go, why would you do that? Why would you do that? I'm gonna do this. Yeah, I, I, I made him to switch uh, lane and that's a good thing because he's spreading out his damage. Unfortunately, we're not back to our roll giant just yet. So he's gonna definitely have a good time against us right now. We could go, we could go with the fireball actually for his sappies. He's gonna use his sappies here. There they are. I'm gonna just zap them right away. And we're gonna take care of that. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes, we are having so much success. This is where we win, guys. This is where we win. And this is gonna be our last battle for today. I really enjoyed this deck. Now, my unfortunate friend here is going to die. Uh, that is unfortunate, but it is also a possibility of swisherness. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're not gonna get anything down here, brother, 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 brother. So what we're gonna do now is just go with the Royal Giant, just to pull him in a little bit closer, a little bit, just a little bit closer to the tower there. And uh, that's fine. That's gonna be a remembrance machine of interconnectedness. That's gonna be game, guys. 12 seconds left. I can't see him turning this around. Not anytime soon, at least. So yeah, thank you so much for watching to the very end, guys. I hope you learned something. This is my favorite deck. It might be boring for some of you guys, but you know, I just love it. I have a lot of high levels on these cards. So thank you so much for staying to the very end. Be sure to like and subscribe. I see you all in the next one. Peace.